Today, guys, we are going to be making my all-time favorite meals. Easy, simple, and quick. And they are all able to be made in under 20 minutes. So, I hope you all enjoy the video, and I hope that you try one of these meals. Let's get it. So guys, the first thing I'm going to be making is my favorite protein oatmeal. So you can feel free to change the recipe however you want. You can add whole milk. You can add more oats. You can add more of the protein for oats. You can use normal protein powder. But protein oatmeal pretty much, uh, I put a banana in there. You can add any fruit you want in there and it will make it taste really good. So enjoy the clip. four recipes in this video my first one was the protein oatmeal um, I'm gonna do it like in two days so tomorrow I'll do the other three since it's Easter and we're having like a family dinner tonight so I don't really have something else I can make today but I'll show you all three more really good healthy recipes that you can fit into your macros perfectly tomorrow so the video will probably go out Tuesday so I'll have the winner picked for the giveaway when the video goes out so Hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video. All right guys, so it's currently Monday, the day after Easter, it's the 13th, and I'm gonna be making, I just finished working out, so I'm gonna be making a big rice bowl. So let me show y'all, it's really good and it's really easy, and it has shrimp, chicken, rice, and some veggies in it, so let me show you how to make it. So first things first, you wanna start with the chicken breast, and then you just wanna cut the like white parts off of it. And then we'll throw it in the air fryer. And then we'll show you, I'll show you everything else you want to do. So I'm just going to throw some be beer can chicken seasoning on there. You don't really need seasoning, but it kind of helps add flavor. All right, so now the seasoning's added, we're going to throw it in the air fryer for like 15 minutes. And then make sure when you throw it in the air fryer, you spray some cooking spray on it because it'll make it a little more crispy. <laughs> So now that we're waiting on the chicken, we're going to go ahead and throw our rice in there. I'm just going to do this entire package of jasmine rice, and I'm just going to throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds, and it'll be ready to go. And then I'll put my steamed veggies in there, and then you'll throw the shrimp into the air fryer about when there's about six minutes left, because the shrimp does not take that long to heat up. So, All right, y'all, so the rice is done, so I'm just going to kind of throw it into the bowl, and we'll like build onto the rice, so the rice is going to be the first thing you put in the bowl. Alright, so the rice is in there now. We're going to take some butter spray and just put like three or four sprays of that on there. And then we're going to mix the veggies in there. And then we'll go ahead and get your egg ready and throw your egg on the pan. The veggies I used were just these broccoli cuts. Um, you just throw them in the microwave for like a minute and a half and they're good to go. And I'm not going to put that much in there. Probably just like a few grams, like 30, 40 grams. I'll put the full recipe and full ingredients in the description below for the, all, the, all four of these recipes. All right, so next up I have this frozen shrimp. I'm just gonna throw it into the air fryer. Um, the chicken, I'm, I'm gonna flip the chicken and when I flip the chicken, I'm gonna throw this into the air fryer and I'm gonna throw some seasoning on there. Just kind of a, as much shrimp as you want. And then we're gonna take this Old Bay seasoning and just kind of coat it over the top. All 
Alright, so when you're waiting on the shrimp and chicken to finish, you want to crack one medium egg onto the pan and you're going to fry it. So whenever, go ahead and throw some salt and pepper on there and then you'll put the lid over the top until you, as, until you want it, if you want it to be mushy then don't do it for long. But um, if you want it to be hard, just like keep it on there for like a few minutes and it should be good to go. Alright guys, so the shrimp and chicken is now done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the tails off the shrimp and then I'm going to cut the chicken into slices and throw it into the bowl. Alright guys, so we got all the shrimp and the chicken in there. And then now we're just going to throw the egg on top and then I'll show you my last final secret ingredient. So guys, we're going to top it with this teriyaki sauce. And don't do too much, but this is pretty low in calories, so I'm just going to do probably uh, three servings maybe of it. So, there we go. Alright guys, so our rice bowl is complete, and it just looks absolutely amazing. So, enjoy this. It's a very good meal, and great for post-workout to get your carbs, protein, and all vegetables in. So, enjoy this, guys. All right, guys, so the total macros on this, finally, were 685 calories, 68 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 70 grams of protein. So absolutely incredible for post-workout. Let me give you all a little taste test real quick. Mm. The flavor is amazing. If you do jasmine rice with this, it makes it so much better. So definitely give this bowl a try. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Alright guys, so whenever I think of something that's very good, I think of a tostada. And I'm going to make a healthier version of a tostada that you would get from Taco Bell. So first thing you want to do, I don't have any tostadas, so I'm going to put a corn tortilla here on the pan. And you're just going to keep heating it until it gets uh, crunchy. So just keep flipping it over and eventually it will get crunchy. It might take a few minutes. Uh, then I already made some chicken earlier, so I'm going to use that chicken for the tostada. So uh, let me show you how you put it together. So you're going to start with a burrito sauce tortilla, and then you're going to put your chicken in the middle, and that will be the first thing you do. So next up, I put one half a serving of the on-the-border salsa con queso on there. And uh, then now you just want to wait for your tortilla to get crunchy, and uh, then I'll show you all what else to put on there whenever the tortilla is crunchy. All right, guys, so you can kind of put whatever toppings you want on there. I don't have any lettuce or tomatoes or sour cream. So all I'm going to put on there is a little bit more cheese and some and some salsa. So that's what I'm going to put on there. And then I'll show you how to fold it up and stuff whenever I put all the toppings on there. All right, guys, so we put the tostada on top. And then we're going to put some salsa, a little bit of salsa, and a little bit more cheese. And then I'll show you how to kind of fold it up for y'all. So to fold it up, all you want to do is grab one of the sides, kind of push in. And then push over, and then you want to grab the other side, push in, push over. You just want to fold all the, everything to the center. So just keep doing this. And then you'll have that cheese stuck in the middle right there. It's completely fine. So just like that, and then you want to put it pan side down on the pan. So now you just want to cook it on here for just a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. So guys, the cheese will melt it together, and that's how it's supposed to look. Oh my, that looks so good. I'll give you all a taste test here in just a second. All right, guys, I'm going to give it a taste. Mmm. That is incredible. Definitely try to make one of these. It's so good. I'll put the macros and uh, all the ingredients down below in the description. So enjoy this, guys. So guys, I just finished the giveaway and I did a little scramble thing online. And I want to congratulate Sean on winning the giveaway. I have shipped his PE Science protein to him and he should be getting it in the next few days. Uh, stay tuned, guys. I will have more giveaways coming soon especially when I get to 100 subscribers. So if y'all help me out, share my page to your friends, and we'll have more giveaways coming soon for y'all. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video. So guys, the last thing I'm gonna make tonight is a cake, a protein cake with some Halo Cup ice cream on top. 
So basically you're gonna start putting one serving of the PE Science Frosted Chocolate Cupcake Protein Powder along with five grams of the Hershey's Cocoa and five grams of the baking powder. And then you wanna throw about 140 milliliters of almond milk in there. I think I put a little too much, so I would probably go with like 115 milliliters if I were you. And then also put it in the microwave Make sure it's stirred up very well, and then put it in the microwave for about a minute, 15 seconds. And then what I do is I put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to kind of let it harden a little bit into more of a cake consistency. And then I throw the ice cream on top, and it just, it's amazing. So, All right, you guys. So I finally put the ice cream in here. I'm going to give you all a quick taste test, and then I'll pretty much be wrapping up the video here. So let me try it. It's so good. You cannot beat this. High in protein, high in carb. It tastes like a brownie with ice cream on it. If you don't try anything else from this video, definitely give this a try. Definitely give this a try. It's a great dessert and very macro friendly. Again, I will have all four of the recipes for all four of the things I made today in the video. But that pretty much wraps up the rest of the video. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all again, hopefully here on Thursday with another video. Thank you all, all for watching. See you all next time. Peace.